Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here today with CEO Chris Taylor of Great Bear Resources. We're here at the Toronto Metals Investor Forum. Chris, welcome to the show. Great to see you again, Greg. Yeah, and well, we got PDAC right after this one, so. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy guys. Huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So anyway, we just had a really good Q&A panel with all the investors here at the Metal Investor Forum, and I, I, I thought it went really well. What were yeah. your thoughts? Well, I thought so. They just actually pinned me down for an extra 45 minutes after the Q&A ended. Right, right. <laughs> well, what does everybody want to know? They probably want to go, how many ounces do you have, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, these guys, it was amazing, the questions. They wanted to know uh, why it's there, how big it could be, all these. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I was drawing cross-sections on the whiteboard in right. the Q&A room. Right. Uh, so if you go in there right now, it's covered yeah. in my square. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's like I mentioned there, you know, all the panelists, we had four panelists, you were one of them, and all everybody on the panel this time has a discovery yeah. that's in process. Yeah. And it then becomes an issue of proving mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. the resource and that's the right. continuity of the resource yeah. and how many tons and how many ounces. And, <laughs> and that takes time. It does, right? yeah. It just takes time. And people always want to jump the gun and they see you've had success. So they're trying to they're trying to jump you for information, and then you know obviously we have to be very careful about what we're saying. So yeah, that's from correct. a compliance standpoint. So, um, w what's in the cards for like a first, you know, reserve estimate? You know, I'm not resource estimate. Yeah. What, where, where are we with that? Well, it's coming together really quickly uh, with the drilling that we're doing now. The hit rate has been so high. Right. I think we we issued publicly uh, the other day that out of. Uh, 38 holes that we've drilled in the hinge zone thus far uh, yeah. that are that are in the public. Uh, we had 22 of them with over 10 gram per oh, ton yeah. gold material, and that's really? 10 gram or plus gold material right uh, basically to surface. So right. um, that's coming together very nicely. We have the money on hand, as you know, Greg, right. uh, to um, likely produce a decent. I have to be careful with what I say from a com compliance perspective, right. but the, um, the reason that we raised the money that we did and the reason that we're drilling uh, like what we have now is that we could uh, potentially generate a nice high-grade gold resource without having to go back to the market for more financing. Oh, yeah. That's extremely important. So um, that's why we say we're drilling um, very likely. It'll be hundreds of drill holes over the course right. of 2019 and 2020. Yeah. And uh, obviously, um, your your viewers are very sophisticated with this. Yeah. They know that that defines a very nice uh, mineralized volume. If Absolutely. you're drilling that much, there's oh, yeah. a reason that you're doing it. That's right. And, you know, as we know with these types of situations, right? like the deeper you go, the better it gets. Right? <laughs> and you haven't even it gotten is, that it has far It's not yet. been disappointing, but we're only down a few hundred meters right. so far, right? right. Yeah. yeah, so it's gonna be fun to watch this. I'm very excited about it. I think there's a, a big upside still there from my oh, perspective yeah. and uh, that you know, you're know you still at a discount compared to where I think you'll be at some point. And if we get a good gold market, which you heard in my talk, I'm a big believer mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. gold's gonna break out of the shackles at some point this year. It may not be early this year, it might, might be later in the year, but um, it, it looks good to me. We're seeing a lot of signs, or I'm seeing a lot of signs yeah. that were very similar to 2002, 2003, where we saw these mergers and acquisitions yep. starting to happen, yep. just as the dollar was starting to have problems again. Yep. And uh, you know, all of a sudden gold started peeking its head out of the foxhole, yep. and then boom, we took off and the market went crazy, and yep. that was one of the best money-making opportunities in my career, yep. 2002 to 2007, where yep. there was some big money made there. Yeah, and our, our project, I, I agree with you, it's, uh, it would help the industry at whole if the gold price was cooperative, but yeah. in our case, I mean, uh, new discoveries like this, rare. Uh, they, they're rare and they're, they're to some extent market independent. Yeah. And that's why I think, um, you know, we did really well uh, last year in the context of not a great market, right? right? So, oh, for but, sure. But how often, I mean, you follow the mining yeah. space a lot, you just don't see this no. sort of thing very much, no, right? not it's, at all. It's once a decade or, right. I don't know what the statistic would be, but it's not very often. Not very often, know? no, so. I agree, totally agree. And you're on the right track. You're doing all the right things from my perspective. So we let the drill tell us what the what the story is, and I think it will only get better. And I'm 
I maintain that, you know, at some point, we, when, as you're seeing all this merger activity, right, mm. they're going to have to look at a discovery <laughs> like here because you're the only one that has it in a camp like Red Lake. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're very unique. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited for you, and I'm sure you are too. I, I, we, I had a good laugh there when the, the gentleman in the Q&A session asked, where do you expect to be in three years? <laughs> <laughs> and I said he's going to be retired. <laughs> I'm too young to retire. That's we'll be, right. No. We'll, be, uh, you know, we'll be making our shareholders money in uh, other new creative ways, hopefully. That's right. You know, And you can maybe spin out one asset and keep some others and start another company like you mentioned. That's, a, that that's would a, great, be, a great possibility. That yeah. would be a great option. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. So anyway, anything else you want to mention in our interview? No, I just I appreciate everybody's ongoing attention in Great Bear. There's a lot of news coming. Uh, yeah. The drilling's going very well. Uh, yeah. We're very happy. We have some really wide new multiple high-grade vein zones yeah. that we've been hitting in, in the drilling. So uh, I would just encourage people to follow the drill results. Yeah. and. These projects, the easiest way to see success is the proof is in the pudding. That's right. Just watch the gold as it keeps coming out of the ground. Uh, each successful drill hole is uh, more gold that That's we right. know about. We keep adding to whatever that number is going to be. Right? Correct. And then yeah. we'll get to that point. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, Chris, always a pleasure. Thanks very much, Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Yeah.